Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. It's really exciting to meet you here again this morning. We thank God for the beautiful day. We thank God that we're able to connect through this medium, and it's a blessing. We bless the Lord. It's yet another day that we want to start our day by aligning our purposes with God's agenda. And therefore, allow me to share a brief thought that I've labeled or I've titled, God's Word is Settled Forever. God's word is settled forever. And I'm reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verses 8 and 9. This is what the word of God says. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. I'll read it again. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. The word settled as found in this passage the word settled is a common judicial term that means put to rest it's a word that is normally used in the court of law that means putting put to rest when court, when, 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 when court is in session or when the court is going pro, through the process and a case is being handled and judgment is passed conclusively at the end. It is said that that matter has been settled or that that matter has been brought to rest. The word settles also means to fix to a desired order. To fix to a desired order. And therefore this passage can also be read as O oh Lord, your word is forever fixed to a, desire, to a desired order in heaven. That is my just, that is my paraphrase. I've just, I've just paraphrased the word to mean that the word of God is forever fixed in order in heaven. In the Lord's Prayer, we normally pray and say, Your will be done on earth as it is. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Dear friend, it is possible to have the experience of heaven here on earth. It is possible to have what we think about, what the imagination that we normally think about when we are talking about heaven. It is possible to have that experience here on earth. Here on earth. And that aside, it is also possible to bring heaven in your situation. It is possible to bring heaven in your situation. The Bible says that the word of God is settled. Is settled. The word of God has been put to rest. There's no bargain about adjusting anything. The word of God has been put to rest in heaven. And so when the word of God says that you are blessed, that word blessing, the blessing aspect in that word has been established and finished settled completely. There is no bargain about it. When the word of God says that you are victorious, it just means that you are victorious. And there is no bargain about it. There is no other side about it. When the word of God says you are healed, it just means that you are healed and there is no another side of it. When the word of God says that you are a child of God, it means that you are a child of God. It is settled in heaven. When the word of God says that you are favored, it means that, that you are favored. My question to you this morning is that, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the report of the Lord or you're going to believe the report of your feeling? Your feeling is speaking and God's word that has been settled in heaven is also speaking. This morning, I want you to be wise. I want you to be a wise child of God. You can choose the word of God. You can choose the settled word of God to align your purposes. You can choose 
to align your life this morning with the word of God. When the word of God says that you are blessed, you are blessed. Take up the take shed off any other thing, any other thing, any other waiting thing, any other thing that is weighing you down. Shed it off and align your purposes with God's word and go into the day. You are blessed. Your miracle is waiting for you. Your fruitfulness is waiting for you. God's word is waiting for you. God's word can only be effective if you are also in agreement with it. And therefore, my dear friend, I want to suggest to you this this morning that you can align your life right now, right now with God's word. You can align your life right now with God's agenda. I want to pray with you that the word of God may come out alive in you even as you are moving in the day. Let us pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is a great blessing, Lord, that this morning we can start with you. We can start with your purposes. Your word is forever settled in heaven and your word is forever settled concerning my brother, my sister. Your word is forever settled concerning their case. And therefore, Lord, I want to pray that would you help them, help them, O Lord, help them, O Lord, to align their lives with your purposes, Lord. It is, it is possible that they can live a victorious life. It is possible that they can live a fruitful life. It is possible that they can see you as they move in the day. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, my dear friend. Walk in God's purposes. Align yourself with God's purposes. It was nice having you here. My name is Philip Odera. Stay blessed and we meet again. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.